Welcome to hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Are you getting it in? Somebody getting it for you? What's going on, people? Subscribe to my channel. What's going on, people? It's the day. Of another day, of another day that we call Wednesday. And with it being said, what's going to be people? Hopefully, everybody's just doing everything as far as being safe. And it's where we're living in, knocking down doors and making your dreams come true and practicing ignore. <laughs> okay, this is it. I'm going to share something with you. I'm talking to you like a big sister, to my little sisters and my little brothers. I'm not going to be politically correct, so get the kids out the room. But this is the thing. This is the thing with me. I have three stores around my way. And it's one that's like right next door, like right next door literally to where I live. And I will go way down the street to get what I want because the service is much more better. Whether they know or not, they give me respect. Hello, Ma, how you doing? I hope you're done. Da, da, da. I go into the store, and every time I've been to this store, I haven't been to the store, I've been to this store two times this year. I mean, it's right next door to me, which is like takes five seconds and I'm there. This is the thing. The first time I went to the store, I have to wait. And they see me stand up there, they constantly make me wait, like, okay, it's just being on purpose, because I'm, I'm starting to feel a certain kind of way. And I try to stay focused on what I'm doing because if I don't, my mind starts wondering. So what, whoever had the store before, they must have sold, sold it. So now they sold it to this new owner, which is just as bad as the old owner. And I go inside the store and stuff and I tell them, I say, well, I like, okay, listen, look, this is it with me. I like to do cold cuts. Some people don't, but I do. I'm a cold cuts eater. I know some people drink beer, some people smoke weed. I like cold cuts. In other words, I like to get those cheeses, you know what I mean, like Swiss cheese and, you know, peel off or cheese. And some people are like, well, you're going to get constipated, but that's okay, because at the end of the day, it's cheese. Anyway, so I asked them, give me some cheese. I mean, you know, and, and I, I'm really funny when it comes to my food, when I feel as though, you know, I'm giving them a, I gave them a second chance, which was today, which is the last chance. So the thing is, I went into the store, this one guy was there, a little young black guy and stuff, and I was like, okay. He said, I may help you. I said, I told my wife some cheese, you know, give me five dollars cheese. Said, okay, fine. I'll give you five dollars of cheese. Okay, fine. So I went over to the guy, the Spanish guy there, and he's like, what you want? He said, five dollars of cheese. So he takes it and everything. He starts cutting it up to the guy that, you know, he wasn't doing. So I said, well, by the way, do you have any liver oil? So he was like, no, we don't have it. I said, okay, that's fine. I know I should eat it, but listen, this, listen, I'm a fat ass. I'm going to eat. Okay, this is the thing. So, the guy, the Spanish guy, looked back at me and said, like, what do you want? I said, I want five dollars of cheese. So I'm like, okay. So I'm trying to keep my face from being a bitch face, because you know, at a certain period of time, you're like, okay, there's nobody in here but us, me and y'all, or y'all and me. And... Y'all seem to be distracted from, now I wasn't like this, I had my hat on and stuff. They, it wasn't that it was really looking at me and stuff. It's just the thing that they could care less. They was more concerned with whatever they was doing instead of taking care of the customer. And I don't know if you ever went through that and stuff like that. They're doing some other things. You got customers standing up here just willing to pay, make a purchase to keep your asses in business. And you're sitting up there doing the other shit instead of, you know, helping the customer. But I believe in customer service, stuff like that. So I'm not gonna give you a hard way to go and stuff like that. So I'm waiting and everything, you know me, and, and when I get the weight and stuff, and I'm like, okay, this is five loaves of five loaves of cheese. How long could this be? Now I'm the kind of person when I get to waiting, I start thinking. I start my mind start wandering. So my mind starts wandering, which means I go into the tall person spell. When I call that the tall person spell, that means that I start looking around the room to see if anybody in there as tall as me. Is there any girls as tall as me? Is there any guys as tall as me? Because I'm six feet tall and I kind of start, I'm starting to pay this more of attention. More so than I did before, before I really didn't care. But I just, I really don't care still, but 
Because if I can't, I'm with black here. You know, we both probably look like dogs apart. But at the end of the day, that's what it is. So, I'm still up there and thinking I'm waiting. You know, I start wandering around looking and stuff. And, you know how you do the water around. You take your eyes, your eyes hit the ground first and then you go. <laughs> you hit the ground. There's nobody in there but me and them. So anyway, it came time to get my thing. So it came time to get my cheese. Because to get my cheese, he put it in the package. Now, in case you don't know this about lunch meat, when they put it, they put it inside of a paper and they put it in. They have to put plastic over top of it because the cheese will go bad if it's not stuffed inside of plastic. It make it last longer and stuff. Not that it's gonna last long, but you have to preserve it and stuff in plastic, which is not a big deal. I'm a paying customer, just give me the, you know. But I'm the kind of customer that won't say, like, I won't say a word. Because you're fixing my food, not look. I don't really trust you. You be like, spit it the next time. Or I remember what you said, and you know, I'm very cautious when it comes to my food when I'm going to places. So anyway, he asked me to step over to me, and he asked to me in the, in the um, paper. I said, well, could you give me, like, a plastic bag? Cause it's going to go bad. You know, I try to be, like, really... You know, like I took it down like a lot of tones, almost like a pity type of thing. You know, like, please give me a dollar, you know. So I'm like, just say, so he takes it back and throws it to me. <sighs> At that point, I'm on 10. But me, the kind of person I am, I'm not going to say nothing because I have anger issues. If people like me understand what I mean, that we have to take a lot of L's by anger. Because the person we have put in our face, we don't swamp. We don't really do too much of that talking shit. We don't put our hands on you, so we have to take a lot of L's. We have to just go, no ring day cure, no ring day cure, and stuff. Okay, so I get there and I start talking to myself out loud, which I, I have a bad habit of doing now. I'm like, that's why I never come to this store, just to get some other the company. So I get the cash, just looking at me, she's like, oh, this crazy bitch talking to stuff. So I paid for my stuff, and I was like, let me go back to my original store that I went to. So I walk past that store, walk past another store, walk past another store. Just to go to the regular store I go to, and I got the rest of my cheese and I got my lunch meat and stuff like that. You know, it amazes me how you're inside of a store, you're only making a break, it's not going to take you that long. I'm the kind of person, I'm not going to give you a hard way to go at work because I understand people go through a lot of dilemmas and stuff, and people are not happy, and I get it. So I'm not that person that, be, even though I may feel a certain kind of way that I feel like you're not giving me the proper service, I'm not going to say nothing. Because I, I look with too much empathy, which makes me a dumbass. Because I care about what maybe this person may be going through. Maybe something's happened to them. Maybe something is bothering them. So they're not really focusing on what they're doing. So I'm not giving them a hard way to go. So I walk away down to a place and I, you know, I pay for myself. I walk away down to a place and I say, Hi, Mommy, how you doing? I remember. God was like, Come on, what you want? And I, everything was Mommy, Mommy, Mommy. I said, Mommy. And the thing is, like, okay, so the girl came up to me, you know. Spanish, and everybody can receive me with love. And, well, not love, but you know what I mean. So the thing is that I was received more pleasantly. And even the black girl came up and said, yeah, you like this kind of stuff. Everybody in the store, the whole aura, the whole energy is so positive. And I understand why a lot of, and it was a lot of, it was a black girls, two black girls, and it was me and an um, older black man, and everybody was Spanish. And I understand why everybody goes into the store. It's because they they treat you with respect. They're not trying to give you your business. They're just trying to start nothing with you. You give you so much respect. Hello, may I help you? Da-da. A smile. And they only have to smile, you know, but they give you that greeting like, you're welcome here. We want you. We want, look, we want your business. So we treat you with, you know, common courtesy. And we don't have to have a go on evaluation to treat people like people. And that's what's sad. We have to do evaluation as sensitivity training to have people train how to treat people. And then when I went to the store, I said, you know what, from now on, I'll just walk all these blocks to this one. And I will never go to that store again. I'll just stay focused on that one. I've been going down for the years. And another guy told me, he said, you live all the way down there. Why you always walk down here? I said, because y'all treat me better here. I'll go anywhere to be treated with respect instead of being treated like dirt just to make a purchase that's going to help you keep your job. But anyway, I want to, I want to share this story with you because I want you to know how you feel like this. Have you went to the store and somebody just basically overlooked you as if you wasn't even there? Nobody was in the store, but they're just doing other things instead of waiting on the customer. They say the customer's always right, but I don't know. Anyway, please put your comments at the bottom of your feedback in this. 
at the top there's the Instagram button. Like, subscribe, share, let you know I love you. And thank you for watching Kiss 3. Oh, right now. Come on, baby, let's go on Instagram. Woo! Like I said before, please leave in the comments. Have you ever went to a store and you basically felt completely ignored? You're standing there and you're trying to be nice and patient and basically they're ignoring you. Which is sad. Did you subscribe yet? At the top, there's the Instagram button. If you follow me, I'll follow you back. Did you subscribe yet? Oh, come on, man. It's going to my channel. What do you mean? It's going to my channel. <laughs> Love you. Love you.